create a Google Sheet spreadsheet, open one through Google Drive, or you can click on the Google Waffle on your main Google page and select Sheets. When Sheets opens, open a blank spreadsheet. Create a table with two columns in a typical X and Y axis format. The left side is the independent variable's values that you chose to manipulate. The right side is the dependent variable's values that you measured. Make sure to include the variable and the unit in parentheses. Enter all of your independent and dependent data. Do not include units. You're just entering the values. Make sure that the variable and the data list line up. You can always edit and format your data as you go, if you'd like. To create a graph, select all of the data in your table, including the labels at the top. Either click Insert, followed by Chart, or there is a Chart button with the same icon in the menu at the top of your page. Once your graph is created, you can choose the chart type. A scatter chart or scatter plot is best if you want to see the data points. You'll want a trend line and equation to help develop your own mathematical and general equations. Start by clicking on Series. Scroll down and check the trend line checkbox. This will add a line of best fit to your scatter plot. A new menu opens. We'll leave the trend line as linear since we're creating a straight line. This means when you click Use Equation, Sheets will generate a linear equation using slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b. This equation will give you the slope and y-intercept, but you can also use the slope formula to create and calculate the slope from your data. Just type equals slope and a parentheses in a cell. You'll be prompted to select your y-axis data. Type a comma, and then select the x-axis data. This will give you a value without a unit. The unit of the slope is the y-axis unit divided by the x-axis unit. So, meters divided by seconds. Meters per second is velocity. You can either retrieve the y-intercept from the equation on the chart or use the intercept formula to calculate the y-intercept using your data table. Just type equals, intercept, and parentheses in a cell. Select all of your y-axis data. Type a comma and select the x-axis data. This will give you a value, not a unit. The unit of the y-intercept is always the same as the unit of the y-axis. So the unit, in this case, is meters. You can always edit and format the cells if you'd like. The slope in the equation on our chart is next to the x in the equation. Make sure that it matches the slope that you calculated with the formula. The y-intercept in the equation in the chart is located next to the plus sign. Make sure it matches the y-intercept that you calculated with the formula. Once you've created your graph, use the Snip tool to select the graph. This will copy your graph as an image, making it a lot easier to paste it into another document. 